So over the weekend, Donald Trump used his bully pulpit to um, encourage vigilante violence against protesters because they were tearing down Confederate statues, which are racist because maybe they were committing property damage. Donald Trump put them on blast, which obviously endangers their lives. You have the president of the United States tweeting out pictures of these people to his millions upon millions of far-right, depraved, lunatic followers. Yeah. Now, on top of that, he retweeted a video of one of his supporters yelling a slogan that um you think he wouldn't want <laughs> to be associated with. Nonetheless, this is the video that he retweeted. The president of the United States retweeted a video of one of his supporters yelling, white power. He is shameless. He doesn't want to use dog whistles. He wants to be unrestrained. He wants to just say what he thinks. Now, the White House, I think hilariously so, tried to downplay this and suggest that Donald Trump didn't hear what his supporter said. He didn't hear the person very clearly yell white power, but I mean, it's obviously a lie. He heard it. There's no way he didn't hear it. We all heard it. I mean, he, he was clear. He didn't stutter. He didn't mince words. He said white power twice. Trump heard it. So, I mean, what I think this confirms is that Donald Trump supporters are either racist or or they're not explicitly racist, but they're okay. They're comfortable with the racism that Donald Trump condones and endorses, right? And look, there's always this, this irritates me because there's been this conversation surrounding Donald Trump on the media about whether or not he's racist, as if it's debatable. Of course, it's not debatable. Yes, Donald Trump is very explicitly racist. And what he's doing here is trying to test the waters. He's trying to see where the border actually is, right? Because before, you know, he tried to normalize nationalism. All of a sudden, that's not necessarily a term that we associate with the far right and fascists. So that's okay. So maybe, just maybe there's a chance that he can normalize white power. So what he's trying to do is kind of get his feet a little bit wet, right? Try to figure out how far people will allow him to go. I think he knows that by retweeting one of his supporters yelling white power that, you know, this is going to cause controversy, but how controversial will it be? And the fact that other Republicans like Tim Scott, for example, called him out, that kind of goes to show you that, all right, he, he knows that there are some limits to what he is allowed to get away with. And retweeting which is basically an endorsement of one of his own supporters yelling white power is something that is a little bit too far even for america now i think this is a very um easy thing to see the conclusion is obvious donald trump retweeted one of his supporters yelling white power because he's racist but to someone like ben shapiro the conclusion isn't so obvious Ben Shapiro proceeded to make excuses for Donald Trump, probably because he has cognitive dissonance and doesn't just want to admit that Trump is pretty explicitly racist. Nonetheless, watch Ben Shapiro proceed to make a fool out of himself as he tries to explain away Donald Trump literally retweeting again one of his supporters with the Trump flag and America first on their golf cart, yell white power. This reared its ugly head yesterday again when President Trump decided to retweet a video. And this made national news because, again, it, it is reflective of a narrative that the left would like to push, which is that President Trump is a white supremacist. Now, I think what actually happened here is the th same thing that happens to a lot of people on Twitter. When you are bored, you just start retweeting things. And when you retweet things, you don't always watch the video all the way to the end. And President Trump, as we know, has the attention span of an ad. Right? The, the, the president of the United States, is not, I mean, he literally will not read presidential briefings that are put on his desk. They have to put them in bullet point form, and then he doesn't even read those. He'll ask for those to be shortened. Okay, the man is not famous for sitting there and reading tomes of, of Winston Churchill. Right? So when it comes to watching videos online, my guess is he saw a person driving past with a Trump sign, and then he just retweeted it. Right? That, that is the most like, uh, likely explanation. Does anyone really think that President Trump, even, even the people who think that, wow, he's a, he's a racist dummy and all that, even those people, do you think that he really would intentionally retweet a video? in which somebody is shouting white power, which is what happens in this video? Yes! The answer is yes. 
I mean, look, think about it this way. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that Ben Shapiro is correct. And, you know, like all of us sometimes, he just retweeted a video without watching it. He's the president of the United States, Ben. It doesn't matter if you do this sometimes. Or it matters less, at least. It doesn't matter if I do this from time to time. He is the president of the United States. Maybe we shouldn't just accept that, oh, the president just, you know, made a mistake in retweeting this. He's the president. Millions of people are going to see it. If you don't want to spread the message of white power, maybe be more responsible with your tweeting. Stop tweeting at 3 a.m. while you shit. Stop rage tweeting. I don't know. You're the president. We shouldn't just accept this. Oh, you know, he just, he's like all of us, you know, he just likes things without reading them or, you know, he, he shares things without fully reading the article, uh, shares videos without watching. No, we should expect better from the president. Now, let's say that Ben is correct. Let's assume that Ben has Trump pegged here. He, he's, he's correct in saying Trump probably didn't watch the video. Okay, well, if Donald Trump actually doesn't want to spread the message of white power, if he doesn't want to make it seem as if he was endorsing that message, shouldn't we at least expect him to be a little bit apologetic? Shouldn't we expect him to come out and say, look, I totally apologize, and I denounce that supporter of mine. That was uncalled for, that was unacceptable, and the Trump administration is not wanting to be associated with anyone who is a white nationalist or a white supremacist. We unequivocally condemn them. I mean, if, if that were true, shouldn't he say that? Shouldn't that be his response in Trump's own words? It was terrible, tremendous, we don't like them, we don't want their support. No, that wasn't Trump's response. So, I mean, for you to do these mental gymnastics, Ben, to try to figure out what Trump was thinking, he wasn't thinking, right? This was the absence of thought. He saw one of his supporters yelling white power, and it didn't even register with him, probably. He just retweeted it. Why? Because I think the conclusion is pretty obvious. He's racist. He's explicitly racist, and I think he would love to be able to just be explicitly racist publicly and not have to resort to so many dog whistles. He doesn't want to call these protesters thugs. He doesn't want to use words like when the looting starts, the shooting starts, which, you know, you can argue that that's explicitly racist, but he doesn't want there to be this veneer of respectability. He wants to pull away the code words and just use the words that he really wants to say. That's at the tip of his tongue. And that's what we're seeing. He's testing the waters. It's not that complicated. Trump is racist. That's why he retweeted this video. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.